Okay, I can read that statement. This this is the statement delivered to us. It's dated 8-2 of uh, 2018. On June 20th, 2018, marked my 38th year on Nebraska's death row. And in late August, it will be 39 years since I had convinced my 14-year-old brother to go with me, in parentheses only, to rob a man who drove an Omaha cab almost 39 years ago. The ACLU and my attorney at the Nebraska Commission on Public Advocacy would like to file something on my behalf, but most certainly I do not. But if they would really like to, then I wish they would file a motion for my brother Donald to get him off parole, which he has been on since forever, it seems like, then that would be perfect for me. As his older brother, whom he looked up to, I should had led him in the right way to go instead of being, instead of bringing him down, way down, and because of that, I am terribly sorry. In parentheses, please forgive me, Don, somehow. In conclusion, if there are truly those out there who are against capital punishment, there are some on Nebraska's death row who claim to be innocent. In parentheses, I can think of four. Perhaps it is a fact that they are innocent. Why must they remain there one day longer than all the years they have been there? I am guilty, they are not. How might you feel if your loved one was innocent and on death row, or what if you were the innocent on the row? How long must you be here before, before you were executed or had to spend the rest of your innocent life in prison, three question marks, signed by Corey D. Moore, and he has ex-death row inmate. 